Welcome. I am going to try to show you now how to break apart Moffitt's list. Here is a list that has been sent of puts. So what I'm going to do is copy them. A quick way to copy them is to go to the A1 cell, hold down Control, Shift, and the right arrow goes to the end, selected, and then the down arrow goes all the way to the bottom and it selects them all. So you do control C to copy and control V to paste. So now I have Moffitt's list in my spreadsheet. So what I want to do is to break apart column A because it has symbol, month, year, and strike price all in one cell. So what I'm going to do is to separate his data from my formulas, I'm going to highlight column H, go to format cells, go to the border tab, click the thick border, and then click the left border. And now I have a divider between his data and the functions I'm going to build. So now looking at column A2, which is the first row of data, I notice that it's symbol, space, month, year, space, strike price. So I'm going to use that space to actually break it up. So I'm going to create a title for my first column and I'm going to call it first space. And now I want to find a function that will actually let me find out where exactly that space is so I could use another function that will tell me to grab everything starting from the first character up to that space. So since I'm not sure what the name is, I'm going to click the FX insert function button because what this includes is a search for function. So I could type in find a character and it's going to show me a list of, thing, of functions that might actually do that. And here we go, we have a find function, top of the list, returns the starting position of one text string within another text string. Well, I want to know the starting position of the first space within A2, so that looks like it's good. So I'll click OK. Find text. I want to find a space. Now, there's two ways to do that. You could either do double quote, space, double quote. And you'll notice on the right, it shows you that there, that's what's going to enter in the formula. Or I could just do a space with the space bar and then move to the next line. And it actually turns it into double quote, space, double quote. So that's how you insert a space. Within text, well that's easy, that's just A2, that's where my data is. And I want to start looking from the beginning of it, so the start number is just the number 1, which means the beginning. And you'll notice it tells you that it found a space at location 5. So Rick is 4 characters, and then the space is the 5th character, so that's perfect. So now I know exactly how long the symbol is. So I click OK. And if I copy this formula all the way down by double-clicking here, you'll notice that they're all not five. Some of them are fours. The reason it's a four is because the symbol is only three characters. So some symbols have four characters, some have three, some have two, and some have one. So this formula doesn't care. It'll just find the first space. So that works nicely. So now I know where the first space is, and I know how big the symbol is. So the next column I'm going to have is called symbol because that's the first thing I'm going to extract. So I'm not really sure which formula I used. Um, so let's let's see if we could extract from string. Let's see what pack is me or find. Find character, no, let's see, grab character, keeps coming up with this mid thing, mid, that's how, returns the characters from the middle of a text string given a starting position and length. Well, I have a starting position, which will be one, the beginning of it, and I have a length, which I got from the find function, so let's use mid. So the text string of course is A2 and the starting number is the beginning so we'll put in the number one and the number of characters I know because I found the first space 
So let's use that. And since we don't want the space, let's subtract one from it. Wait, starting position. No, the starting position is one, because we want to start from the beginning. And the number of characters we want to grab. That's where the first space is, minus one. And there it shows you, it'll grab, since first space is on five, and we only want to grab four, it, it tells you right there, Rick is what will come. So I click OK, and then I copy that all the way down. Now, one thing to be that that helps is not necessary in this formula because we saw that there wasn't an extra space, but it's always a good idea to get rid of any trailing or leading spaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the function trim to wrap around it, just in case there's a space in before my symbol or after my symbol, because when I use functions in the future, I'm going to be looking at the symbol and I want to make sure that there's no extra spaces hanging around. So I'll just copy that all the way down. So now I have my symbol in its own cell. So now what I want to do is I want to create a brand new cell where I don't have the symbol in the string because I don't need it anymore. I just want to have the month and the strike price to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'll call this column new string. And I'm basically just going to grab, starting from the character, the star position, I'll make right after the space. So same formula, mid, and I'm going to take it out of A2. And I'm going to use the first space to start with. And since this is the starting number, I don't really want to start on the space, I want to start on, on the first character, basically the M in May, so I'll add one. And then the number of characters, I have to figure out how many characters are in this, or how many characters are left till the end of it. So there's actually a function called length, or LEN for short. So I'll use LEN to find out the length of my entire string, and I will subtract where I found that first space. And I will use trim just to make sure that there's no extra white space before